Good morning, Boston. Welcome to Channel 9 News. We just received breaking news. A group of men stormed aboard three British ships in the Gloucester Harbor on the night on December 16, 1773. The men threw 342 crates of tea overboard, resulting in the British Tea Companies losing a large sum of money. The British ships were the Dartmouth, yeah. the Eleanor, and the Beaver. These ships are simply sitting in the harbor, doing no harm of the group of men. The men call themselves the Sons of Liberty. Two of the men in this group were John Hancock and Samuel Adams. The Sons of Liberty disguised themselves as the Mohawk Native Americans as they snuck aboard these three British ships. These ships were full of tea that was not being unloaded because angry residents of Boston were threatened to not use or buy the tea. Why would the Sons of Liberty do this, you may ask? They threw the tea overboard because they wanted to send a message to the British government. A message saying, stop taxing the colonists. The colonists have received many texts on everyday items, stamps, tea, sugar, paper, etc. The tea is just an example of these taxations. The Tea Act put a tax on all tea with the exception of the East Indian Company tea. Tea from the East Indian Company was sold at bargain prices. This means that the colonists could not buy tea from anyone else, including the merchants, without paying a higher price. This act mm -hmm. made many merchants lose business. The Sons of Liberty were obviously angered by the new taxes and laws, so they decided to take action on this matter. In response to the Boston Tea Party, the Parliament passed the Intolerable Acts. The Intolerable Acts consisted of four laws. The first law is that the Boston port was closed until the East Indian Company was repaid for the destroyed cargo. The second law is that almost all positions in the colonial government are to be appointed by the king or governor. This law eliminated many elected offices in the colonial government. The third law gave the governor the power to move trials of government officials to a different colony if he thought they could not get fair trials in Massachusetts. The fourth law allowed the governors of all colonies to house soldiers in unoccupied buildings without the permission of the owners of the building. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching Channel 9 News. Have a great day.